Hello and welcome to On The Wrist. Today I bring you a review of my Jean Richard Aquascope. This is a really fun watch from a brand that's no longer around, but the style is so on point with the cushion case, the vertical grain, and just excellent design features that I couldn't say no when I saw one posted on the forum for sale. Without further ado, let's get right into the review. So this is a watch out of my personal collection. I've really enjoyed Jean Richard's ever since I saw one for sale as a used watch. I've always loved unique case shapes and more sporty looking watches, and this watch does it all. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. And I do want to address that this strap is not a normal strap for a Jean Richard. Jean Richard's have 25 millimeter lugs, so no regular straps fit. It's very challenging to find straps that do. You need a custom strap at this point because you can't buy the OEM straps unless you want to pay two to $300. So I took a 26 millimeter strap and cut it by hand, which is why you see these less than ideal cuts. All right, let's get into the technical specs and then we'll get some shots on the wrist and go over some more design details. The diameter is 44 millimeters. However, you'll notice it has a very tight lug to lug. So even though it's a larger watch, it wears quite well. The thickness is 13 millimeters, so not too thick. It has 300 meters of water resistance, and the movement is the JR60, which is a base Salida SW200-1, so Swiss-made movement. The, it has a 38-hour power reserve, and it has some pretty spectacular loom, too, and comes on a rubber strap, which we'll see later. The crystal is a sapphire with anti-reflective coating, and the bezel is, has a brushed pattern and rotates. And it has a solid case back just bearing the Jean Richard branding. Now, the design of this watch is I think what really makes this watch worthwhile. That awesome vertical grain on the almost uh, charcoal dial really pops with the red second hand zipping around. Even the color of the loom pairs so nicely with the rest of the design. I love the black brushed ring that goes around the bezel. And the cushion case is just such an excellent shape, really unique shape, and it is just such a pleasure to wear on the wrist thanks to this tight lug to lug. Let's get a couple shots on the wrist. Here we have it on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Very comfortable fit. The 44 millimeters is not too big because of the tight lug to lug, and it's rather th fairly thin, so it sits comfortably on the wrist. An absolute pleasure to wear. And here we have it on its standard OEM rubber strap. Really nice, very comfortable, really like the look. And it really makes this watch feel sporty. Some notes on the rubber strap. While well, it's incredibly comfortable and it's very thin, which is nice, so it easily molds to your, your hand, or to your wrist. The strap is very short. So I have it on the last two spots for a seven and a quarter inch wrist. So if someone with a, you know, maybe seven and a half inch wrist or larger wanted to wear this, it might not be big enough for them. The cl clasp also catches just a little bit, but that might be because it's an older watch. And these spring bars are curved, which is really nice for form factor, but it makes it incredibly challenging paired with the fact that these are 25 millimeter lugs to find any non-OEM strap, which especially now that Jean Richard is out of business, or is discontinued rather, it makes it very hard to get straps. You have to go the custom route if you want something that fits well. The other strap I have, as I mentioned, is a 26 millimeter strap that I cut some notches out to get to fit. But that is one thing that is kind of sad and annoying. So why did Jean Richard go under? Well, they had incredibly high MSRPs, but sold for fractions of the cost on the, sec on the online market which made it so jewelry shorts didn't want to carry them. And they also, while this case shape is really great and I love the design, it's incredibly similar to their other two lines, the Terrascope and the Aeroscope. So there really wasn't much variation between their designs, which made them kind of stale. You might like the design, but 40 variations on the same exact thing don't really keep a brand afloat, especially if the shape doesn't resonate with everyone. So sad to see them go. I think they had a hand in their own demise, but I'm really happy that I acquired this on the sec used for a really good deal. 
which brings me to MSRP and value. So MSRP for this watch is was about $3,300. That is a really overinflated price. From some of my research, I find that you could have got this new around that time for about a third of the cost. So let's call it $1,100. For $1,100, this starts to fit more in line with like the Chris Ward, the Formex, as far as features and value for entry level luxury. I think the Swiss Salida movement is featured in both actually the Chris Ward and the Formex. Links to those reviews in the description. And it is a unique style. It would be entry level luxury and you're paying somewhat for the brand name and some of the prestige. But the materials are solid and it's not crazy out of the, the realm for other things of that price point. So for that price, I think it's a reasonable value. I got this for approximately 500 on a used forum, and you can find these right now on eBay ranging from about 1300 to 2300. They'll frequently pop up cheaper in some places, but they go quickly because people do like, still like these watches. So just keep your eye out. My closing thoughts, I really enjoy wearing this watch. It's very sporty. Even though it's larger, it does not feel that way. I love the rubber strap. You guys know I'm a sucker for that. The only things that really frustrate me is finding other straps for this watch. I don't want to spend a hundred plus dollars on a custom strap. Um, and that's really the thing that bothers me. Just really, it's just that. Aside from that, the design features I love and I get a lot of joy from wearing it but I'd love to hear from you all. Leave me down a note in the comments below. Do you like the look of this watch? Is this something that you can see yourself wearing? Do you wish that brand was still around? Let me know, I'd love to hear what you think. That's all for me today, this has been On The Wrist. Thank you for watching.